Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's Russell of Amber Russell. Subscribe to the show at the top, thumbs up the video, leave a comment at the bottom, watch previous videos, and stay tuned for you guys in the future. So, the Hip Hop 2012 Hip Hop Awards was on, well, was recorded last night, September 29th, and seems as though this becoming the Source Awards. It's the new millennium version of the Source Awards. There was beef between everybody. Um, Rick Ross and Young Jeezy mainly. They were saying that they had beef before and then they were in the same hallway backstage. You know what? I'm just saying you guys are old enough. Walk the other fucking way. Don't have to cause no drama with one another. They said there was some pushing and um, scuffling going on. They were saying that Gunplay was um, who's a part of Young, um, part of um, Maybach Music Group, which is Rick Ross uh, group. He has some issues with John, with uh, with um, G Unit, and they were having some stuff. They say a gun went off. There's rumors about that allegedly a gun went off, and then there was Diddy and Fifty Cent. They were backstage. They were you know cackling, having a good time, and you know exchanging jokes about one another. And then it got a little personal, and then Fifty Cent called him a bitch ass nigga or whatever. And then allegedly, and then Fifty Cent and Diddy was like, you know, I'm too, I'm too rich for this, and he walks off, which is what a real man does. He doesn't sit there around something and have something go down. Diddy, you already been through too much with you and Shine, and um. You need to go back to jail and you need to try to frame someone else to go back to jail for you. Um, again, the Hip Hop Awards, this should not be the Source Awards. You guys are too grown. The industry is too is too much going on. You guys have too much to lose to be doing this, acting all foolishness. And, you know, just let it go. If you're beefing with someone, walk the other fucking way. There's no need to continue to stand there. 50 Cent has actually walked the other way and was on stage with... Uh, Fat Joe, they were performing, they were doing a tribute for someone who passed away, I forget his name, he was the manager, who passed away, like Eric, I believe his first name was, who passed away about two months ago or so, back in August, I believe, and um, nice to see that he was able to be a bigger man and, you know, let the drama, let they both were, and let the drama in the past go behind them, but it seems as though 50 Cent, he's not as relevant as he used to be, so he might feel some type of way, he might, you know, he put this upon himself. When you alienate yourself from everyone, make yourself seem like you were the big top dog, people start, you know, not caring anymore. And then they see how arrogant you are and people start feeling some type of way. And, you know, that's what happened with 50 Cent. Now he's in commercial with Joan Rivers promoting shit. And it's like, you know, he may has all he may have all this money, but when people don't care about you, when people don't care about what you release, especially when you are a mus musician, that's your main career path, and people aren't caring anymore, that really does affect the ego, especially for someone like 50 Cent, who has this really huge ego. You know, you might say, oh, well, he has a lot of money. He has albums that sold millions and millions and millions. But at the same time, his albums really haven't won a lot of awards, especially Grammys. When he walked up on stage, when Evanescence won for Best New Artist, you could tell that hurt his soul. You know, he lost his relevance in the music industry. And I think that really has a huge effect on him. He said he was going to quit when he lost, if he lost, sold less albums than, than um, Kanye West. And then he, Kanye West all sold him in the first weeks. Um, Rick Ross, musically, is doing a lot better than him as far as the success. When people care about his music, his singles, his albums getting sold. His, uh, Rick Ross's last album outdid... 50 Cent's last album, which is really shocking. 50 Cent was lost all his weight for his movie role, and yet no one cared. He was supposed to be Oscar nominee worthy um, performance, and no one cared. Moving over, new music from Kesha, Katy, um, not Katy Perry, Rihanna, and um, Taylor Swift. I forget Taylor Swift's song. I'm not a huge Taylor Swift fan. I feel as though if you date her, you're gonna have a song written about her, about you, in the song, and her on her new on her new album, whatever. And she breaks up with you just to write a song. But you know, this song is very pretty. Um, I think it's about a relationship. I don't, again, I'm not a huge fan of hers. But you know, I do like the song. Well, I don't like it. I like what how the song is written. Whatever. Anyways, Kesha has a new song called Die Young. It sounds very much like Flo Rida's on a Good Feeling song. And you know, Kesha said that she's going to try to innovate herself by influence rock music, you know, do something different. And, you know, I'm like, yes, I'm all here for that. And you know what she does with this new song? Besides the fact that it's a very generic version of um, Flo Rida's song, 
which is what Flo Rida is, he's a generic rapper. She does the same exact thing, as she, or the same exact bullshit that she does every single year. She sing raps, has a little catchier uh, chorus, and then that's it. The same bullshit she does all the time. So I'm just like, Kesha, if you're going to say you're going to have some, there's no rock and roll influence in the song. There is no vocal changes in the song. There's no, like, growth, rather, in the song. She sounds exactly the same as she always does. It's a regular, everyday Kesha song. And to me, all these people are saying, yes, we're getting these new number ones. But what's the number one mean if the song doesn't live on more than six months, you know? If radio doesn't care about it six months later, if the fans don't care about it six months later, what does it matter if you have 20 number ones, if you have the most breaks, Mariah and the Beatles and everyone's, what does the record breaking mean if the, what the record's being broken for, no one cares about five months later? So you could have the most number ones, Rihanna. Go ahead. Two of those, what, 13 songs or 12 songs are really r rememberable which are Umbrella and We Found Love. On to Rihanna, her new song, Diamonds. You know, it's a very big difference for her. She doesn't sound the same like she normally does. Her tone, which I don't like, is different, which I, I mean, she sounds like she's singing a lot better. It sounds like it's a little bit more um, personal. The song's kind of basic, you know, lyrically, but it's about diamonds in the sky, how she's in a relationship, and it's, like, beautiful, like, diamonds in the sky, which the chorus had a little bit more something different to it but you know it's a Rihanna song and she does what she does best and you know Rihanna does what Rihanna does best and you know the song is very catchy though I guess when you have a song that is catchy you can't have a chorus that's too um has too much going on because people won't be able to catch on to it hence the catchiness these two are really good pop songs but again I think Rihanna's song is a lot better than Kesha's because Kesha's song sounds a lot more uh uh, generic res uh, Rihanna's song sounds a lot more like a five year old wrote it and Kesha's song sounds like every other Kesha song Rihanna's song at least sounds something different than what Rihanna normally does because it's a mid tempo it's a love song which she normally does do love songs hmm. but just the approach for the song is a lot different than what you will get what you expect from Rihanna versus what she has done in the past Extina Christina Aguilera has released a new music video for Your Body, and you know, I gotta say, very good efforts from Melina, whatever that chick name is, who directed it. It's very different. Um, I love the filter of the music video. There's a lot of colors. There's some influence from Lucille Ball. It's very tongue-in-cheek comedy type of, of music video, and you know, it's something different for Christina. It's a lot of color. She's not over sexual sexualizing the video like on um, not myself tonight and dirty but it's like a more mature version her body looks really good very curvaceous doesn't look fat like it does like it did in the sneak peek preview pictures that were released um it's about her and her you know having fun killing these three different guys in the video in the beginning it's like no men were harmed and you know, that's just how the video just takes on it has a very gaudy type of feel to it. But you know, it's, you can see that she's having fun, which is something that's good, that she really needs. Um, she's leaving The Voice. Shakira and Usher are taking place for CeeLo Green and her departure for season four, which actually, um, if you notice, The Voice is doing a lot better as far as viewership than X, than X Factor is. I guess having Britney Spears on the show really wasn't a good, wasn't a good workout for us. You, Simon, huh? Anyways, um, check out the video for Your Body. Um, Lil Wayne, he's beat Elvis Presley's record for having the most songs on Billboard. And you know it's a good look for Lil Wayne, but too bad for mo ha over half of those songs are all featured. So it's kind of unfair, especially since a lot of the songs came and went off the Billboard. And a lot of the songs aren't even his songs. They're songs that he's featured on. And Elvis' songs, a lot of them, a couple of songs were not on Billboard because they were released prior to Billboard ex existing existence and you know Lil Wayne is videotaped and court this week they they showed it on TMZ got footage of him in court when he's in a loss he's in a lawsuit for um, Quincy Jones Jr. the third or whatever son or whatever he is he's made a film about him and Lil Wayne's upset about it. he's he's suing him for it for rights in the song but you know Lil Wayne if you're gonna sue someone act a little bit more mature and actually answer the questions if you want people to take you seriously because they could easily dismiss this um, thing
Peace, Russell.